Hey guys, Chris here with Good Old Gamer. So today we got some interesting information coming out of NVIDIA's representative Colette Cress. Now, this is basically where we're inferring some information that the RTX lineup may only consist of the RTX 2080 Ti, 2080, and 2070, which have already been announced. And this suggests that the RTX or GTX 2060 on lower will actually not support ray tracing. And today I want to kind of talk about what does this mean for the market as gamers? If only a select few GPUs support this feature, is it really worth it? So that's what we're going to talk about here today. So stick around and check it out. So this is courtesy of a editorial over here on Tech Power Up by Ravenlord. The NVIDIA 20 series could be segregated via lack of RTX capabilities in lower tier cards. So RTX capabilities, meaning ray tracing, RT cores, and tensor cores. This comes from the City 2018 Global Technologies Conference from NVIDIA's Colette Cress. So the, where they're getting this from is when Cress said... We'll start with the ray tracing cards. We have the 2080 Ti, the 2080, and 2070 overall coming to the market. So the suggestion here is, is that these will be the ray tracing cards, and the other cards, well, in theory, will not have ray tracing. And this is hot on the heels from NVIDIA's TU-106 chip being added to Hardware Info. So these are the numbers from an article yesterday, also on Tech Power Up. Now, this is obviously all just guesstimated at this point, but they're figuring that it's going to be somewhere between 320 and 340 millimeters squared. Now, if they're removing all of the RTX stuff off of this, this is actually a rather large die. You have to remember that the GTX 1060 is only 200 millimeters squared. Now, to go from 1,280 shaders up to 1,536, I don't think we need to see a 50% increase in die size simply for that. So this seems a bit strange if these are correct. I, however, am more inclined to agree with NVIDIA's own people. Now, does anybody else remember this image from the presentation? GeForce RTX from 499. And as we know that this is the MSRP price for the RTX 2070. Now, once again, this was really hilarious because they had the RTX 2080 Ti in the picture. My jaw dropped when this happened because I was like, oh man, AMD's dead if they go ahead and do this. Well, of course, that did not turn out to be the case. But still, it's very clear that from NVIDIA, they're straight up saying RTX from 499 here. And their own representative saying that the ray tracing cards include the 2080 Ti, 2080, and 2070. This also lines up nicely with what Jim said over at Adored TV in his uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 video. This was before everybody knew it was called RTX, where his leak told him that the 2060 would actually be a GTX card. Now, they may keep the RTX name just to keep things, you know, a little bit easier or basically to fool people into thinking that, hey, I got ray tracing when you really don't. So that may be what they call it instead of the GTX, but realistically, that seems to be the case. So between Jim's leak bringing this up and being right on pretty much everything else that we've gotten so far, um, between NVIDIA's own slide during their own presentation and between their own representative saying it yet again, it seems very, very likely that the RTX ray tracing features will only be in the 1070 on up on their cards. Now, okay, whatever, that's not super big deal. What is a big deal, and this is what they talk about more in the editorial, I just want to talk to you guys about it face-to-face. -face. Most GPUs are sold in the 199 on down bracket. Basically, that 1060, that X60 level GPU on down. So not including these ray tracing features. I understand from NVIDIA's side, this means that they can make a much smaller GPU and sell it for cheaper, and then they keep their profit margins just fine. 
okay, that makes sense, but if the average consumer, the vast majority of gamers do not have RTX ray tracing technology in some way, shape, or form in their computers, why would developers utilize this technology? Now, I understand that this is very much a chicken or the egg situation, you know, which one has to come first, but if the vast majority of consumers don't have this technology and won't have it for several years, who's really going to implement this? And honestly, something that I wanted to talk about was today, the brand new Spider-Man game for the PlayStation 4 just came out. Digital Foundry did some really good analysis and videos on this, and the graphics in this game look amazing. I've actually gone ahead and picked it up. I haven't tested it yet. I just got home and I just got this thing, but the game looks fantastic. And this is using the same technology that we've had forever, using basic cube maps and Digital Foundry goes over that very well in their video. But with the technology that we have now, you can go ahead and fake the same sort of look that ray tracing can do, and you can use everything. Everything can use it. And most of the consumers out there, most of you guys are really upset with the fact that ray tracing has been the main focus with this generation because you want more performance for your money, especially for the level of money that they're trying to charge. So it looks like, I don't know who's really on board with this. I mean, I understand the ray tracing is great. And I even said as developers, I could see this being amazing in the future because it can make your life a lot easier. Let the actual game engine and let the ray tracing and GPU handle a lot of these really complicated effects that take a lot of time to work into your games. If you guys have been following Spider-Man, there was the puddle gate fiasco there and in that digital foundry video they go over how complicated it can be to use all those cube maps to make it look so good in a ray trace game it would just simply work you just put the camera into the game and just tell it hey this is how we need you to reflect and it would simply work so that would make things much easier for game developers so I can see the benefits of the ray tracing but if the vast majority of gamers will not have access to this Who's going to take advantage of it? How many years will it be before this seems plausible to put into your games as a main staple? You know, to make it a feature that you have to have this technology for. And at this point, it does not appear like AMD feels that dedicated hardware for ray tracing makes sense for their GPUs. And we know that their next generation GPUs will be in the next generation of consoles. So if the next consoles are not going to have dedicated ray tracing hardware and they're going to stick to traditional rasterization, this is just going to add even more complication to whether or not developers are even going to bother with this. I just really don't think now's the right time to be pushing this. The new GPU lineup is so expensive and NVIDIA is getting a lot of flack for that. They're not going to be in the mainstream cards from what it seems like. And honestly, I just don't know, other than developers that are being paid to go ahead and put this into their games, so basically NVIDIA is covering the cost for this development, I just don't see it really, really catching on. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm really interested in your thoughts. With games that look as good as Spider-Man does on a PlayStation 4, we're talking about basically like an RX 570 level GPU. I mean, we're getting that level of graphical fidelity do you really think ray tracing is going to be the next big thing, or at least any time soon? I don't know. Personally, with it not being on mainstream cards, I don't think it's going to catch on. Until it is on 200 ish dollar GPUs, I, I just don't think it's going to catch on. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please share with friends. That really helps me out. And if you're interested in picking up Spider-Man, I got links in the description below. You can go ahead and buy it through Amazon. That does help the channel out. I do appreciate that. And that's all I have for today, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video.